Hey everybody, it's Paula, Coach Paula, Paula Toby. I have not been on here in a very long time. As a matter of fact, it's been about a year. And the reason I haven't been on here for about a year is uh, many, many reasons. Um, one of them being, uh, I, I've had a hard time with Facebook lately. It's been changing and it isn't um, showing you what you want to see anymore. Feeds are changing, all of that kind of stuff. But the real reason is it's hard when you see a lot of people talking about the great things in their life and they're not talking about the real stuff. And I kind of got tired of coming across as though everything was great when everything wasn't great. And I just needed a break and I needed to kind of recenter myself. And I've had that opportunity over the last um, probably two months and it feels great. So I wanted to share with you today what I've been up to, my big why, and why I'm coming back now, stronger than ever. Okay, so this last year has been the worst of my life. Literally, it has been the hardest thing I've ever been through. Um, and it started um, last spring. I went back into the classroom. Uh, long story short, um, I needed to get myself out of a rut and I used that to do so. It worked um, and in the process of getting back into the groove of teaching, I found myself um, what I needed to be doing um, and I realized that it's all about teaching and about connecting with people. It's not necessarily in a room with four walls and a bunch of kids. So that lesson being learned, I'm able to move forward and feel very confident in what I'm teaching people now. Um, the next thing that was very difficult about that time was that that April, my mom was diagnosed with stage four um, pancreatic cancer. And what that meant was that she had a very, very limited time to live. And um, it was going to prove to be the hardest time in my life. Um, I had to, um, every chance I got, go home and be with her. Um, it lasted four months. She died August 5th of 2017, and that was a very hard time for me. Um, actually, what made it harder um, was the fact that um, it made me reevaluate myself, my goals, and everything that I was living for, um, everything that I was doing had to change. Um, but that opportunity gave me that, and I just had to share with you today what that was and why that was, um, what has brought me to where I am now. That being said, um, in August uh, 20, 5th or 27th, to be honest with you, I don't even know what the day was. It was a Tuesday. Um, 20 days after my mom passed away, um, we got hit by Hurricane Harvey, and um, my little town um, suffered some of the damages of the uh, releasing of the water from the dams, and we flooded. And we lost my whole home first floor. Um, down to studs. Uh, we had three and a half feet of water, which was just below my breastbone. Um, and it was an extremely hard time as well, mostly because um, we did have time to get things, uh, the important things up, um, scrapbooks and, you know, um, pieces of family history that were very important to us, things like that. We were, we were able to save um, but what made it hard was we were starting over again. Um, we just remodeled our home three years prior, and uh, it was starting over again right after my mom had died. And it really, um, really gave me a sense of, of cleansing um, and starting over. And it actually was a good thing. It actually was a wonderful thing. Um, I was able to wipe clean everything that had gone on, good things, bad things, um, but start over 
And so I started to look at it as a very good opportunity to get real clear about what mattered and what mattered in my life and in my family. And that was family, that was my life and my health, and being a part of my family involves being my truest, healthiest self. And that's what I'm going to share now. Um, after we lost everything, it took a few days to sort through and kind of, you know, figure out what was going where and, and all of that. Um, it, it took time to slowly start putting things back. Um, we were living with friends for uh, seven weeks. Um, one of the best friends you could ever ask for just took us in and it was wonderful. Um, but we were able to come back after seven weeks and live upstairs and start to slowly put together um, our house and our life, um, but really put into perspective what it was that we wanted to do going forward, um, what it was that, that meant the most to us. And that even came down to furniture decisions. You know, what, what was a priority in our family? Um, when we sat down to eat dinner, um, where did we spend the most time and what did we want that to feel like when we were in there? Um, I saw that as an opportunity. You know, sometimes you take the bad things of a flood and, and you make it a good thing. And although we had to choose all new furniture and we had to gut everything and, and start over again, it gave us a chance to reflect. And that's what I've been doing um, the past few months. And now I'm going to share with you my why. Um, I have come to realize that life is too short. There's absolutely no reason why you cannot go out there and do what God put you here to do. And for me, um, what that means is honoring my mom and honoring her by teaching people how to live their best life. My mom was very proud of me um, being a teacher, but my teaching is beyond lessons in a classroom. Um, my why is bigger than in um, a traditional school. However, it definitely has to do with schools. Um, my why has to do with educating educators. It has to do with educating parents. My why has to do with teaching children how to be healthier and why it's so important for us to live the way that we need to be living every day, intentionally helping people live their best lives. And I've discovered my big why and what that means now. Going forward, I have tons of goals I have tons of dreams, and I will do them. I will accomplish them. I have had so much perspective and time planning and getting focused over the last few months. And what, for me, that comes down to is by, again, honoring my mom. One of my first goals is I'm writing a book. I'm dedicating it to her. It's about um, my life's lessons, things that I've learned. Um, I'm telling my story, but I'm also sharing to give other people the opportunity to learn who they are and learn what matters and what's important to them. So it's self-help for them as well. Um, what I'm also doing is um, I'm partnering with um, people in the Plexus company because it is a gut health issue. Pancreatic cancer um, comes from all kinds of nasty things going wrong in your gut. And I have learned that everything about you, your whole body, comes through the gut. And in your gut, you have a second brain, a brain that is literally just as important as the brain in your head. And that brain tells our body what to do how to function and how to do it. And when we're nourishing that brain, we're giving it its proper nutrients, it can fully function. And how it does that is by cleaning itself and restoring itself. 
and giving um, giving all of the, the nutrients to the body that it needs in order to properly function. And one of the things that I'm going to be doing is sharing with people, sharing with educators, sharing with parents, sharing with kids the importance of keeping our guts healthy. How do we do that? Why do we do that? Why do we need to make this a priority in our lives? So I just wanted to give everybody a quick summary of where I've been, what I've been doing, what I've been up to, and I'm no longer making any apologies for why I believe what I believe, why I'm doing what I'm doing, but it comes down to I'm honoring my mom, I'm honoring myself, and I'm honoring what, what I believe in, and that is truly getting healthy from the inside out. And if you want to hear more on how to do that, or if you want to join me in helping others, please reach out to me and contact me because I cannot do this alone. I need you and I need your support during this time in order to bring this mission of health to fruition. Thanks so much for joining me.